Donna Schwartz here. In this practice tip, I'm actually not going to talk about practicing, I'm going to talk about a problem that saxophone players and flute players encounter quite often and it's really irritating and annoying. It's basically when your neck, you're trying to put your neck in or pull it out and it's, it's ridiculous. You can't get it in, it feels like it's getting stuck and then you get, you get scared that you're going to break something. The thing is this, a lot of people think, all right, let me just get some cork grease or some uh, Vaseline or, you know, some other kind of grease and just put grease around the edge over here so that it'll go in nice and smooth. The problem with that, that's not going to help. And over time what happens is more buildup happens and then the neck keeps getting stuck and stuck and stuck. And it's the same thing with the flute. The same exact thing happens. So the best thing that you can do, and that I was taught this by repair, repair people, is this, just take the neck or take the head joint, take a clean cloth and just wipe off the dirt and the grime. You're gonna see that it's gonna, um, mine's actually pretty clean, but you're gonna get like, you're gonna get uh, grease spots on this. But here's the other step that's gonna help even more. Don't just do that. For the flute and for the tenor, what you also need to do, and for the, any alto sax or any saxophone, you need to take that rag and wipe off the gook on the inside because that is more than likely what's causing the neck to stick. Now it's best not to use like a tissue. It's best to use um, you know either a paper towel or really a rag. You just go to Home Depot and pick up a whole bunch of rag, uh, box of rags and stuff like that. That'll be fine. But anyway, after you wipe that through, boom. It, it, this is so much better. Before I was struggling with getting this in and out, but now no problem. How often do you need to wipe that off? I would say wipe it off minimum once a month, but you know, I'd probably do it once a week or so. If you've got the type of neck or the type of head joint that, that has that particular problem, I would definitely do it more frequently. Okay, so hopefully this tip helped you so that you can enjoy your playing more and not worry about whether your neck is causing you a pain in the neck. How do you like that one? Thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a great day.